blizzard conditions in Arctic Britain. Most people heeded the warnings, but not all. This was the A62 in West Yorkshire. Well, it's up here, it's terrific. Um, and uh, people just shouldn't be venturing out weather like this. Josh Sturd was stranded on the M62. <sighs> what a badly managed situation this has been. Uh, some people have been stuck there since uh, since first thing this morning. It's crazy. Down south, it was a similar story around the new forest. Shout out to the guy who just appeared out of nowhere from a field on the M27 and gave us bananas. We love you. Nearby trains were also stuck. We're now on the train at 11.56 and we're now sat in darkness. This is just, we're laughing, but we really want to cry. <laughs> that train finally got into Bournemouth this morning. It was a nightmare. We had about uh, 10 hours uh, with, in the dark with uh, no eating, no food, uh, nothing to drink. Uh, and the South, people from South West Train seemed to have absolutely no idea at all what they were doing. On the A303 in Wiltshire, police declared a major incident. Hundreds of people were trapped in this standstill overnight and into the morning. In Edinburgh, the army has been helping nurses get to work. So I was off for a couple of days because of snow, but I, these lovely gentlemen came and picked me up and taken me to work. Cardiff's rush hour wasn't as busy as normal. Ice flows on the taff and a few hardy souls were doing their commute on foot. I think one of my colleagues is in, so yeah. So you're showing, making, making an effort? Well, I've got to go in, so yeah. You're on your way to work? I am, yeah. yeah. Do you think anybody's, anybody's going to be there? No. No, come on. I would really love it if I didn't have to be somewhere. It is beautiful. But yeah, it's causing chaos, isn't it? Aftermath of the chaos is everywhere. But with the passing of the storm, many routes were clearing. Despite the heavy snowfall last night and the continued snowfall, much of the M4 and the M5 here in Somerset, they are passable, even if it's down to one lane. Further down in Devon, freezing rain was an unusual issue. You need a chisel to remove this stuff. These are the sort of extreme conditions where even snow ploughs are vulnerable. This lorry was working in Devon when it tipped over. A mark of just how hard the job is. The school shutdown has continued for most. I'm, I'm enjoying the snow. <laughs> Maybe put our around on this sledge. <laughs> Amid all the disruption, it's worth remembering a sizable number of people would vote for this to become an annual event.